This is Kerry Cork. The election is drawing inexorably closer. The ALP has clearly decided that a slate of candidates top-heavy with unionists is not a good look. Therefore, in seats such as Franklin and Latrobe, union candidates have been replaced. There is now an argument that they are top-heavy with celebrity candidates. People who are famous for being famous or certified war heroes are being put out as candidates in seats such as Benelong, Boothby, Edmonero, Latrobe, Sturt and Stirling. Indeed, you don't have to be an ALP member to get a start. The trend is continuing at state level, with Victorian Premier Brumby trying and failing to entice ABC journalist Angela Pippos to stand in the safe seat of Williamstown. Now, it could be argued that this is yet another example of Labor aping a John Howard strategy circa 1996, of putting up people not immediately recognised as party hacks. However, the Liberals put up local blokes in 1996, community candidates, rather than celebrity candidates. Think Dana Vale. It will be interesting to see whether celebrity itself will get candidates over the line in close contexts, or whether the blow in celebrity will be filled by a self-styled local. The Libs are adopting the strategy that most governments at the end of their cycle use in an attempt to hold on spend, spend, spend. Thus, struggling timber mills are being bailed out. Small hospitals are promised millions of dollars of gear. Local governments in Queensland are offered assistance to run plebiscites to embarrass the Queensland government's decision to rationalise local government. This strategy is a surprisingly dangerous one for the Liberals. They are nominally the party of self-government and federalism. There is an argument to say that this strategy is too smart by half, with a lot of small government Liberals deciding to support that self-styled economic conservative Kevin Rudd. However, just as you thought it was safe to make such a protest vote, what does Labor do but effectively support the government? A choice between Tweedledum and Tweedledummer. This is Kerry Cork.